We continue our coverage of Sea Future 2025 in La Spezia, Italy. We are now on the booth of uh, EPC, the European Patrol Corvette Consortium, with uh, Nicolas Lefebvre, he's the project director at Naviris, the joint company between uh, Fincantieri and uh, Naval Group. Nicolas, good afternoon, great to meet you. Thank you very much for the interview. So I'm Nicolas Lefebvre, project director from Naviris, who is the coordinator in the project European Patrol Corvette of, uh, handled by several nations and which is covering a new generation and a new class of uh, ships Corvette, which is, uh, I would say, allocated as the origin from a PESCO program in 2019 and which was joined by several nations all over Europe. So at this stage and today, we have several nations which are participating states, which are France, Italy, Spain, Greece and Norway and we have additional partners and nations like Romania who have joined with observer status this project so which is a co-founded by European Commission who has granted OCAR and mandated OCAR to contractualize two call. The first call is under performance and will be finalized in February 26. It will address the initial design of the ship and the platform. A second step that the consortium has already been awarded is a targeting to finalize the design and to make two prototypes that will be the first step into the production of ship for the nations. Uh, Nicolas, can you please explain to us what is the role of the, each of the main uh, European uh, shipbuilders in this uh, EPC project? Very important. At this stage, we had nations so who have co-founded with the support of the European Commission this project. Today, the concerned shipyard from France, Italy and Spain received a letter of intent from the nation in order to produce this new class of corvette. So, Naval Group for France, Think and Cherry for Italy and Navancia for Spain have been addressed as a consortium and answered to this call and provided an offer, which is a European Patrol Corvette, which has been submitted and awarded to call and that will be the basis and the foundation for the next step of the project. There are many other uh, companies. Uh, on top of my head, I can think of uh, SH Defense, Rank or Kongsberg, for example. Uh, what role do they play in uh, the EPC project? This is a very good point because we are in an EGF found project. So at the beginning, we have a different pillars and assets to put in place. So one of the key is to have an evolution and development on Technobricks. So we have several, more than 40 partners all over Europe in order to assess the sovereignty for European countries and increase the TRL of several Technobricks that will be the candidate to integrate the ship when it will be, I would say, ordered by the different nation. In EPC, you have two different pillars, so Technobrick, increase the technologies that are candidates to be part of the ship and the second step will be a common design based on requirement coming from all nations participating to this project. Uh, ultimately, how many variants or designs of the EPC will come out? At this stage and today, the target is to have one common core, which is the basis of the design and that will encompass all expectation and I would say operational needs of the nation. So we have been working with all the shipyards and partners on modular zone, flex zone, flexibility given to the nation. And on top of that, we will have two different versions of the Corvette. One which will be addressing a full combat multipurpose mission and the second one which will be long range multipurpose mission. So this will be the output and it will be a common basis and then each nation will be in position to have its own variant integrating its combat system and its own equipment for its purposes. Uh, lastly, Nicola, each Navy has uh, different schedules and requirements. Uh, how is the uh, EPC consortium uh, accommodating the needs of each of the navies? This is one of the challenges. And this was a very good step to have this call one, which is a preliminary design of the ship, 
because it has allowed us to put in place some common rules, common requirements, way of working, tools all over the partners. We've been working with an allocation and a collaborative work all over the shipyards. This means that you don't have each shipyard performing the design by itself. It's a common work. And so one of the real assets of this project is that we are giving the experts coming from France, Italy and Spain around a table of discussion and we are taking, I would say, the usual practice and the best practice of each company in order to emphasize the modularity and the flexibility of the ship. All right, uh, Nicola, that was very clear and thorough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very appreciated. Have a nice day and exhibition.